How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the argument object in JavaScript. So basically the argument object allows you to access all of the arguments that are passed into a function with an array like syntax. So you can actually access these arguments using indexes. So for example, let's just say we define a new function in JavaScript and call this one bottle. Okay. This function will take no arguments, all right, just for now, right, in the, um, in the parameter section up here. Now in the body, let's just console.log inside here, let's pass in arguments and then at index zero, okay? So now, if I was to uh, save this, actually, you know what? If I was to go down here and actually call this function, and then pass in an argument to that function. For example, let's just pass in a string with the text um, DOM, okay? So now, in the console of the browser, we should see DOM. Let's just save this and refresh the browser real quick. And we get DOM right there. So what's happening is, we're accessing the arguments property or the arguments uh, local variable inside this bottle function. And this behaves like an array. So you can actually access the arguments passed in by index. So index zero is the first argument passed into the, to the function. So if I was to change this to index one, save and then refresh the browser, we now get undefined right there because we haven't actually passed in two arguments. If I was to pass in an argument such as six inside here, save and refresh, we now see six in the console. So you can see how you're sort of um, able to access an arbitrary amount of arguments through this arguments object. Okay. It's even got a length property. So if I was to just console.log and then um, you get rid of this and say dot length. We now should see two in the console. Let's save and refresh. And we get two right there. So we get two because we have passed in two arguments to that function. Now, uh, this can be useful, obviously, in situations where you're unsure of how many arguments to actually expect in the function body. And it's useful um, when I guess creating libraries or helper functions. All right. So for example, let's create a function called sum, and this will spit out the sum of a bunch of numbers passed in. We'll type that function, call this one sum, take no, no parameters or no arguments. Now in the actual body, let's loop through all the arguments and then return the sum. So let's create a new variable here and call this one sum equal to zero for now. Inside the, um, or I guess down here, let's create a loop. So we'll create a new, um, make a new for loop. Var i equals zero, i less than arguments dot length. All right, i plus plus. And then we could just say sum is plus equal to arguments at index i. And then we can just return the sum right there. So now this function is going to support an unspecified amount of arguments and then add all those together and return the result. So let's create a, um, a new variable down here and call this one total equal to the return value of this sum function passing in some numbers such as 10, 20, and 4. So now total should equal 34, 10 plus 20 plus 4. Let's just console.log total and see how we go. I'll save and refresh this. And what do we get? We get 34 right there. All right. And that's how you can use the arguments object in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.